The lineup for the 44th occasion through the streets of Long Beach will incorporate the historic Trans Am Challenge, which includes American muscle cars from the late 1960s and early 1970s. The Grand Prix of Long Beach will turn the clock back April 12th and 13th. But these are not replica machines of an era gone by, but the actual cars raced by legends A.J. Foyt, Dan Gurney, Parnelli Jones and Mark Donahue during the glory years of the Trans-American Championship Series. Now, they come to Long Beach, which enjoys its own historical tradition in racing. The Grand Prix Association announced the edition in August. For us to be invited, to Long Beach, is a real honor, said Burbank's Tom McIntyre, who drives the 1968 Chevrolet Camaro Z-28 originally driven by Mark Donahue. We know we can put on a show that's worthy of the venue. The historical Trans Am series came into being in the early 1990s when racing enthusiasts found the old Trans Am cars and restored them. McIntyre said at first, the vehicles became show cars, but as interest began to grow among fans and racers, the urge to race one out in the series was born. The series, which features about 50 racers, has visited several of the country's top venues, including Sonoma Raceway, Watkins Glen International Raceway in New York and Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca in Salinas. But this will be the first time the series will hold a race during a major racing series event. For McIntyre, there's also a lot of responsibility, especially for him driving a car that Donahue dominated in. Donahue, who died in 1975 during a practice run at the Formula One Australian Grand Prix, was nearly unbeatable in the Penske Camaro in 1968. He won 10 of Series 13 races, a record that lasted 29 years before La Canada's Tommy Kendall won 11 in 1997. It's a little bit intimidating, realizing what a tremendous job Mark did in that car, McIntyre said. I'm hardly worthy. But I enjoy the sensation and the feeling that the real guy was actually sitting in the same seat I sit in. It's a real thrill. 28 competitors are expected to race in Long Beach. They will practice and qualify on Friday before racing for 20 minutes Saturday. The invention of the pony car with the introduction of the Ford Mustang in 1964, high performance marketing and the need to win on Sunday and sell on Monday all came together in the Trans American Championship, said Chris Van Dagriff, president of the HMSA. There were more factory teams competing in Trans Am than in NASCAR. Ford, Chevrolet, American Motors, Plymouth, Bondiac and Dodge all slugged it out on the track. Back in the late 60s and early 70s LA was the capital of car culture in the US, what better place to showcase that era than the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach with the historic Trans Am. It will be exciting, challenging, said Saratoga's Ken Epsman who drives a 1972 Trans Am AMC Javelin originally piloted by Donahue and George Falmer. It will be fun to participate with the professional drivers.